And very powerful presentation, Tyrus, yeah, bringing I in Gloria and some of the other experts on the ground. One of the guys actually said that if you're denying it's a crisis on the border, not only are you being dishonest, you're being dishonest with malice. Yeah, that was, malice is always a great word when it's used properly. But <laughs> there's something about feet on the ground. Yep. People are actually living in the moment. And I think what was starting to go kind of south. I think the president was kind of getting at a loss for words there when he brought Gloria in. Phenomenal job, Gloria, out there. But people can feel that. They understand that. And you take the politics out and you go with the facts and what's going on there. That was bipartisan, straight up. This is how it is. This is how we're dealing with it. And that's what the American people need to see. So that was great information. And if you had issues, if you were just listening to the stuff going on in Washington, after seeing that interview, you would start thinking, you know what, maybe there's something going on that's not just hyperbole and, and division. So it was, that was a wonderful interview. Your PR blood was boiling down. <laughs> I was and, pumping. And, and there was great hats. Yeah, always more Phenomenal authoritative hats. when you have a hat. Like that. Yeah, I mean, the guy, yeah, it was, the, the, you know what, I'm learning a lot. This is a tremendous gift. I might have to start wearing but, uh, a hat like that. People yeah. really listen well, when you wear a hat like that. Yeah, yeah it could mess up the hair. Yeah, right? yeah, the hair uh, all right, Juan, you heard from the experts on the ground, 30-foot fence, assaults down, you know, rock throwing down 65%. Uh, when deployed strategically, it's very, very effective. Yeah, and thank you, President Obama. Because guess what? <laughs> that section of wall mm. was paid for back in 2009 as a repair job by, guess who? President Obama. No, actually, we paid for it. No, the, you know, I'm just saying, okay. because right now, you know, you listen to this bluster and bluff coming from Trump, and you say, oh, is Trump putting up that wall? Trump hasn't built any wall. This is a repair job that was funded by President Obama. Look, I think uh, Dana has a point. It's always good oh. to get out of Washington. <laughs> Let me hear more because yes. about I, the point. I'll tell you, because it's really important for him to get out because he's had a tough week. He's being sued by 20 states, including California, over his emergency declaration. Yep. He, they're asking him for his tax returns, and he's struggling with that one. He, just today, he just withdrew the nomination of his ICE director, the guy he had up for that job. Nobody can, is clear on it except thinking that Stephen Miller, who's behind this failed immigration policy, didn't like the guy. Of course, the Senate so Juan, and the House have gone okay. after his Juan, He's not having Saudis. a bad week. So let me just get this straight. You said since it's Obama's wall, you like it. No. <laughs> no. What I okay. said was, All right. I no, no, it. no, because you guys focused on the idea right. that you had security people. They're saying before this wall was here, we had a prop. Well, guess what? That's before... The wall was there years ago. So and you're being saying walls by work. Obama. Is that what you're saying? The wall walls work when Obama we don't, need, it. It. we don't need to see this shining sea wall, okay. except in your imagination. No, I agree. We don't need it all the okay. way, but we need it strategically, right? Yes, we do. That right there was the real world application of everything that is going on that crosses borders. The crisis is not limited to, nor does it begin at our southern border. One of those gentlemen at the end mentioned that $50 billion flows only northward over and across ports of entry. Almost $30 billion is profit from the, for the cartels in the drug industry. Since 2006, Mexico has been fighting militarily a kingpin strategy against all of their drug wars locally. What do we think that we're seeing? It's all of the effects from that. So it's not about simply human immigration crossing the southern border. It's because the push factors coming south of the borders are so strong, so complicated, and so now long-term invested that that's what we're dealing with. So I love that the president also brought in the broader conversation of an including Mexico in that, because it, it's about time for some diplomacy so that we can either help or stop it. Yeah, important to hear the, the grisly reality of the drug war, talking about they find 100 bodies a year just buried in the desert. Well, that's why I think that, so the president, um, I would keep him out on the road at least once a week, because when you're in the Roosevelt room or the cabinet room and you bring the cameras in, or let's just say that maybe he's just headed into Mar-a-Lago on Fridays and he talks to the cameras on his way out to the helicopter, it looks repetitive. Yeah. You have to change the scene in order to change the storyline. I also think that every day this week he's had a different position on Mexico. There was going to be closing the border, then they're not closing the border. Then we're thinking about terrorists, but maybe not for a year. But maybe, oh, now today he is praising the Mexican president, which maybe that actually w works in terms of getting the Mexican president to do more. But I would do this. We all know that the answer to all of these problems resides in Congress. Right. So. I focus like a laser beam on Congress, but make them follow you. 
Get out there, get on the border or wherever you didn't talk about health care, wherever it's going to be, don't do it from the Roosevelt Room because it is not effective. Now, do you think this is going to be a game changer, like Dana said, to get out on the road, change the optics and force maybe one of these Democrat congressmen or senators to go visit and hear from the experts? Again, I'll go back to Gloria. Phenomenal job. It changed the conversation. Yep. It went from Juan's expression was like, here we go again, to, you know what, what is she talking about? Well, it's interesting. And that's, that's important what we need. And here's the thing about the flip-flopping of the story every day. I'm going to get his back a little bit on this one because I think he, you say, and this, I, would be go, I would say, this uh, Jesse Waters' hair is off to the right and I don't like it. <laughs> Sir, it's actually off to the left. Maybe we should change it. The next day, you know, it's actually off to the left. So he's listening to his people. Yeah. Where he's often criticized for not, he'll say something and be like, actually, Mr. President, if we close the border, our economy is going to be in big trouble. <laughs> so the next day, like, okay, you got a year. So I'm actually okay with that because he's known for going off the cuff. He's known for getting a little emotional and saying, well, guess what? We're going to do this. And he's listening to his experts. My so let's point not on be. That yeah. is that it takes the focus off of Congress. Yeah. Well, that's what they want. Because right. No one, no, no one at this table has got oh, a Congress gee, T-shirt. Gee, I, I wonder who politicized this issue in the first place. I think it's Obama. Donald Trump <laughs> who said Mexico was going to pay for this. But let me just stop for a second. Forget that for a second. Remember, spending on a wall does nothing to stop the infusion of families, and especially families with children. We're not talking about an invasion. We're not talking about getting, We're talking about most of the people coming right now, families with children. A wall does nothing to do that. It does nothing in terms of the f added wall, in terms of the detention facilities that are needed to accommodate these people at this moment. That's the crisis, Jesse. The That's the real pawns. crisis. The families it, are it, pawns it, of the cartels. Yeah. That is just a That's small portion of that well, multi-billion dollar remember, smuggling industry. Remember, Emily, this is not mostly Mexicans. These are people coming from Central America. Totally. There are different rules in terms of asylum for the Mexicans. Yes, sir. That's why I would focus on Congress and make them fix that part. Well, they want, I think Democrats want to do something about the facilities, the detention facilities, but the judges, to accommodate But if they do something about the asylum laws, they won't but, have to do those. But those Trump things. has done so much to politicize it that he has us stuck. We're going in a little different direction. Ron's a good man, but we're going in a tougher direction. We want to go in a tougher direction. What exactly is offensive about Joe Biden's behavior, and are you the right messenger for that? Yeah, I think I'm a very good messenger, and people got a kick out of it. Uh, he's going through a situation. Let's see what happens, but people got a kick. We got to got to sort of smile a little bit, right? Do you see Joe Biden as a threat? Do you see Joe Biden as a threat? No, I don't see Joe Biden as a threat. No, I don't see him as a threat. Uh, I think he's only a threat to himself. I just don't see him as a threat. He's been there a long time. His record's not good. Uh, he'd have to run on the Obama failed record. You look at what happened with so many different things. North Korea, the Middle East, the economy never got going. No, I don't think Joe's a threat. I'd love him to be. I mean, look, I'd be happy with any of them, to be honest. Uh, I never changed my mind at all. Uh, I may shut it down at some point, but I'd rather do tariffs. So Mexico, I have to say, has been very, very good. You know that over the last four days since I talked about shutting down the border. Uh, if they continue that, uh, everything will be fine. If they don't, we're going to tariff their cars at 25 percent coming into the United States. So every time they make a car, it's a 25 percent tariff. That means we make money as opposed to lose money. We probably bring those car companies back into the United States. But if, on the other hand, it doesn't work, which it will, 100 percent, the tariffs will work just like they've worked with steel. Our steel industry is so hot right now because of what I did with tariffs. Same thing with aluminum. They'll work. But if it didn't work, I will close the border. I also am looking at an economic penalty for all of the drugs that are coming in through the southern border and killing our people. Uh, the China meeting was a big success. I think we're going to have a, uh, look, we have a very good relationship. We're going to see. I don't want to predict a deal or not a deal, but we're very well along. We've really negotiated probably the two hardest points very successfully for our country. And China understands, you know, China has taken advantage of our country for 30 years. And we can't do that anymore. Not with me.
because Mexico has been absolutely terrific for the last four days. They're apprehending everybody. Yesterday, they apprehended 14, 1,400 people. The day before, it was 1,000. And if they apprehend people at their southern border, where they don't have to walk through, uh, that's a big home run. We can handle it from there. It's really good. Now, Congress has to act. They have to get rid of catch and release, chain migration, visa lottery. They have to get rid of the whole asylum system because it doesn't work. And frankly, we should get rid of judges. You can't have a court case every time somebody steps their foot on our ground. So very important that Congress acts. But Mexico, for the last four days, it's never happened like that in 35 years. This will supersede USMCA. USMCA is a great deal, and it's very good for Mexico, but this will supersede USMCA. Mr. President, are you going to the correspondence dinner, or are you going to hold a rally? I'm going to hold a rally. Yeah, because the dinner is so boring and so negative that we're going to hold a very positive rally instead. Uh, we have it determined. We have about three sites. Everybody wants it. It'll be a big one, but uh, the correspondence center is too negative. I like positive things. Okay? No, they've already got it. He's old news. Uh, he lied numerous times during his last testimony. They've had that for many months. Oh, I don't know. That's up to whoever handles it. I don't know. Hey, I'm under audit, but that's up to whoever it is. I, from what I understand, the law is 100 percent on my side. Venezuela is a mess. This is what socialism brings. You elect a socialist here, you'll have the same exact countries you have in Venezuela. Thank you.